Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, Mr. Secretary. Thank you. My questioning comes from a rural perspective. I, I represent one of the most rural parts of the state and with a lot of uh, rural state highways. And I know a, a previous colleague had talked about the funding formula for distribution out to uh, activities in the, in the particular counties. And I, I hear from uh, you know county officials, county maintenance officials that work for you, that there's just never any money after we do regular maintenance. So it's a very difficult thing to argue when your constituents feel that, that you're getting the short end of the stick now. And I, I understand your previous comments where you said anytime you adjust the funding formula, there's going to be winners and losers. I understand that. And, but it's a, it's a very tough sell when your constituents aren't seeing anything now. So. Well, I think what they're, what they're seeing is, you're right, on the county maintenance, on the state road maintenance where we would traditionally use maintenance dollars to go out and do repaving, we're doing very little of that. We don't have, as you say, we're down to bare bones maintenance on winter maintenance and then summer maintenance on basically holding the system together, not improving it. If anything, our focus on bridges has uh, resulted in a reduction in quality of our road surfaces because we've said the bridges are more important um, because, frankly, a bridge can fall down. You know, a, a roadway might get rough, but it's not as dangerous as a bridge problem, nor as costly if we don't get to it and we cause people to do a, um, you know, drive around it for a detour posted. Again, we're not going to let one fall down, but we'll close it. Um, so we have gotten down to the point where our road surfaces are deteriorating in quality and we're not doing, as you say, much paving. In terms of your constituents knowing what they would get, would they pay for more fees? One thing I'll commit to each and every one of you uh, and to the public watching this is that whatever gets discussed as a fee package, we will have a corresponding list of projects and dollars for maintenance that will go to each county. So you will know exactly what you're getting, what projects we will deliver over the next decade, and what money will go to your county for maintenance should you pay more. I think everyone deserves to know, uh, both you on behalf of your constituents and them directly, to be able to look and see what would I get for this. Um, so we will publish that and daylight it. Uh, I think it's the right thing to do. If we were in the private sector and we were saying we wanted to raise money from, for, um, you know, go out and say we're going to raise money and sell new shares, your shareholders, which the public would want to know, what are you doing with the money? The board of directors, which is you all, would want to know what we're doing with the money, and we will daylight that. So they will, you and they will know exactly what would happen over the next decade should funding be increased. I think that's vitally important. I think it's, it's something we, we definitely have to, to be able to sell to our constituents and show them if we're going to consider these things, this is exactly what you're going to get. So yep. I, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I come from, a, from an area where I have significant dirt and gravel roads that are state roads. And I think some people, you know, even in this building, can't comprehend the fact that we have state highways that are still dirt and gravel. I've, <laughs> I've Lots, got, of them. <laughs> Lots of them. And... Uh, you know, I've got I've got state highways that haven't been paved in decades, and and you know to to sell that back home is very difficult. Um, another question you had mentioned earlier in response to the chairman's question regarding the Marcellus Shale legislation, um, the effect that uh, your department will have, and can you speak to that? What will your department be getting exactly oh, from? I know that you're getting a portion of. <laughs> of uh, bridge revenue, bridge we get, funds. Uh, yeah, we get uh, a, a, billion, or a million dollars a year would go for rail freight. Um, and the other is 15 million and then growing in time for our highway and bridge needs uh, along that corridor. So, or in the areas that are affected by uh, the Marcellus Shale. So in the counties that passed the legislation, we have the ability to go back and invest in those areas for uh, the roads and bridges. And primarily what that would do would be uh, again, on our, on our dirt and gravel roads and our other bond and posted roads, those are being handled by, handled by maintenance agreements and will continue to do so going in the future. This additional money we would use to work on exactly what you're bringing up, the roads that lead you to those bonded and posted roads. Uh, right now they're experiencing accelerated deterioration. We don't have any money to deal with that. So that money will be dedicated to going back and working on surface improvements and maintenance of those roads and bridges. I do think that some of that revenue definitely has to go back to the, the areas where, you know, where drilling is taking place, right. the roads that are being beat up by that. I mean, I've got what we consider to be major state highways, two and three digit state highways that are posted 10 tons um, that are major arteries in and out of our communities that are now posted and you have to, uh, you have to bond them to get in and out of our communities. And, and I think that uh, that's a situation we definitely have to look at Agreed. for this revenue. So thank you for, for, uh, your answers. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.